Welcome my students. Now we will learn the dimensional formula of physical quantities. A physical quantities can be expressed by the dimensional formula. Now what is dimensional formula? Dimensional formula is written with the help of mass, length and time. Mass is expressed by capital M, length is expressed by L and time is expressed by T. And with the help of their exponents, a physical quantity is expressed. Exponent of mass, length and time are used. For example, area. We know area equal to length into length. Length into breadth means length into length. That is L square. So, dimensional formula of area is L square. And in orthodox manner, M, L, T, all are used in a dimensional formula. If there is no quantity is present, then it is written as 0 power M0 L square T0. It is the orthodox way of writing dimensional formula, but in short form, it is written L square. And in case of dimensional formula, no denominator can be used. Now I am giving you example. Before going to that, some examples are given, say volume. Volume equal to length into breadth into height for a room. That is, volume is three dimensional, length, length, length. That equal to length cube, L cube. So, the dimension of volume is L cube. You can also write M0 L cube. T0 and in short it is written L cube. Now speed you know speed equal to distance by time. I have already stated the distance covered by body with respect to time, rate of distance covered by body with respect to time is called speed, length by time. But in the denominator T is there. This denominator cannot be used. It is written in the manner L t to the power minus 1. So, the dimension of speed is L t to the power minus 1 or M0 L t to the power minus 1. And with the help of dimension, we can write the units also. Say L cube. What is the SI unit of volume? The dimension of volume is L cube. So, SI unit will be M cube. What is the SI unit of speed, dimension is L t to the power minus 1. So, meter second to the power minus 1, meter second inverse. Similarly, velocity, same displacement by time that is L by t, that is L t to the power minus 1. So, I am again saying that the dimensional formula of speed and velocity are of same, therefore, their units will also be same. Now, some more dimensional formulas, say density. You must remember the definition of density. Density is the mass per unit volume of a substance at a definite temperature. Mass per unit volume of a substance at a definite temperature is called density of the substance, not density of the body. Density is a fundamental property, it is the property of a substance and what is the necessity for mentioning the temperature in the definition of density because with the change of temperature, volume changes, volume of a body changes, therefore, but mass remains unchanged, density, mass by volume, m by v, as with the change of temperature, volume changes, if volume increases, then this total fraction will be decreased. M by V, V increases, M by V will be decreased. That is volume increases, density decreases. If temperature is decreased, then it will be contracted, volume will be decreased. M by V, V is decreased. So, total fraction will be increased. So, with a decrement of temperature, normally density will be increased. And with the increment of temperature, normally density will be increased. Therefore, we have to mention the temperature for mentioning the density of a substance and density of a substance must be measured at a definite temperature. 
For example, density of water is 1 gram per cc at 4 degree Celsius because at 4 degree Celsius density of water is maximum and this maximum density is taken as the standard density of water at 4 degree Celsius for water it is peculiar. Now density mass by volume we are going through dimensional formula I have not forgotten mass is m and volume l cube that is m l to the power minus 3 it is the dimensional formula density. Now acceleration acceleration is length by time square we have already written that is dimension formula l t to the power minus 2 velocity is l t to the power minus 1 and velocity by time acceleration rate of increment of velocity so it will be l t to the power minus 2 its unit will be meter per second square meter second to the power minus 2 in cgs centimeter per second square acceleration now momentum momentum equal to mass into velocity so its dimension will be m mass and velocity we have already written l t to the power minus 1. So, dimension of momentum will be m l t to the power minus 1. If you know the dimension, you can write the unit easily. m unit, if I am writing unit kg l meter second to the power minus 1, kg meter per second, kg meter second inverse, it is the unit. So, momentum is a quantity, physical quantity, keep in your mind. Momentum is a physical quantity which is formed by all three fundamental quantities mass, length, and time. You can write the question and you can note it. Momentum is such a physical quantity which is formed by all three fundamental quantities mass, length, and time. And unit of momentum is such a derived unit which is formed by all three fundamental units kg, meter, second, or gram, centimeter second it is mentionable now for there are so many quantities i am giving you some examples force equal to mass into acceleration in, in a joking manner we say that father equal to mother f equal to ma force equal to mass into acceleration so dimension of mass is m and acceleration l t to the power minus 2 so force is m l t to the power minus 2 its unit will be kg meter per second square kg meter per second square means newton i have already stated you have written already so its si unit kg meter per second square on newton cgs unit gram centimeter per second square or dime and there will be so many quantities we will be familiar with those physical quantities later on and we will be able to know the dimensions as well as their dimensional formula and their Units, CGS units, SI units, etc. Thank you. For testing your understanding of this lesson and more videos, log on to www.tubelessons.net.